Okay, I want to talk about, you know, I've often seen on watch forums because uh, while I'm, you know, not a watch channel, but I have spoken about watches, certain watches at length, which I reckon are really hardcore for out and about, out in the field. And one of those types of watches, of course, is most of you know will be a dive watch because they're meant to take the rigors of scuba diving so they certainly can take the rigors of the outdoor but a lot of scuba watches come with these urethane bands and these are great for diving i think if i'm going to wear my watch diving i've got the urethane band on it but i read somewhere you know some people are concerned about how strong these things are well let me tell you right now i'm going to say they're more than strong enough the first thing is when you're scuba diving the last thing you want to do is get this caught on something and not to break Okay, you want to be able to, you know, it could happen under certain circumstances. Maybe diving in a wreck, maybe diving around some stuff where there's lots of fish and crap on the, on the ocean floor or around piers or whatever. And you don't want your watch band to get caught. And if it does get caught, you want it to break. And it will probably more than likely break. I'm going to tell you where it's attached to the watch. So let's have a look and see how strong these things are. So it just so happens I have uh, the end piece of a six year old urethane band it's in pretty good condition i see i can twist it and i see no sign of perishing in it whatsoever this came off an aqualand and i actually uh pulled it so hard i uh damaged where it was connected to a solid piece of plastic in here when that plastic actually goes into the connection of the watch so it was a citizen pro master aqualand and there's no nicks in this room and so i'm going to try and break this now but if I just grab this and really, you know, stretch this like that, that's just, that's, it's fairly elastic. You can see that. And there's no way that is going to bust. That is not going to bust. This is not going to bust. Right? These things are more than strong enough. They're not going to bust. If they're going to bust, there's no sign of any damage in the holes or anything like that. If they're going to bust, they're going to bust here. And as I said, that's what you want them to do so you don't end up with your wrist cord on something. Can you lose your wrist? So, I mean, but this thing grab a hold of it it's pretty you see that that's the elasticity in it just have a look at the distortion of those those uh buckle holes <clears throat> i don't know how much force is going into that but it's a lot it's probably yeah you know, 20 kilos at least or more on that easy and and that is no sign whatsoever but it is important if you're wearing these urethane bands to I do it anyway, you know, they say to keep them out of the sun, well that's part and parcel of diving, isn't it, hang they're going to be in the sun at some point, but to inspect them, I generally bend them a bit like that and look at them, I'm a bit fanatical, you know, I'll look at them with, uh, hold on, I've got it here, I'll look at them with a small 10 times hand lens, just like this, to make sure there's no cracking in there, and if it's a good quality band, this is a Citizen one, by the way, this is not a no-name generic band, this is a Citizen watch band, and it's really strong, so don't worry about your urethane watch bands not being strong enough and uh, they will break because they're not going to break easily they will fail of course here but that's a, more of a safety feature but in terms of the actual multiple flexing you know this thing's been flexed god knows how many times thousands of times uh, this uh, will not break easily whatsoever on the other hand if we look at one of these type zulu type e nato things if i was to get my wrist caught on anything in here the stitching's pretty strong you're going to lose your wrist okay these things are not going to break you're going to lose your wrist so you should be aware of that these kind of watch bands these webbing type watch bands the stitching is incredibly strong you know i can hang off this i'm 70 odd kilos i'm not going to break it no chance you know i could probably put 140 kilos on it it is not going to break and your wrist will come off at 140 kilos it's not going to you know you're not going to keep your wrist there so be aware of these things I don't advocate them for diving with. I changed back on a urethane band to go diving again back with this. Um, these things can be dangerous, you know, uh, for climbing. Well, I never wear a watch climbing anyway, but, uh, and obviously working around machinery, don't go jumping off things wearing a watch band like this because if it gets caught, you're gonna lose your wrist. You're gonna lose your hand rather on there. Okay, so just be aware of that. Sometimes it's not a good thing to have a watch band too strong. All right, Bush Camping Tools here. Thanks for watching.